All right, so before I get started, uh, one thing I should mention about the mill. Um, one of the downsides of this particular mill is there isn't a brake system for your wheels. So we actually ran the track down uh, about two degrees. So it goes this way, two degrees down slope. So it'll pull the saw through the log a little bit easier. Uh, the downside to that is if you let the saw go, um, it'll sometimes roll on you. And I actually, I've lost the saw, saw off the back of the track. So it flipped over and that's where you see a lot of these scrapes. So that was a bad day. Um, but you can see it's not really bad right now because the wheels got a bunch of sawdust on them but when this thing's running it has a tendency to creep uh, and, and and it will just keep going on the track now well we made a modification at the end of the track that it's like a wheel stop but if this thing's taking off on you and, and you're not paying attention and it's really going uh, it'll hit that wheel stop and it'll flip over uh, that hasn't happened uh, but it's just something to keep in mind if you do run the track at a slope, uh, the, you're gonna need some sort of brake system. Now I have, uh, I have some brake clamps that I bought specifically for this. I just haven't had a chance to put them on there. Uh, eventually, yeah, it'll have a little kick brake on it that you can just clamp it when you're when you're when you're adjusting and such. So you don't have to worry about the saw taking off on you. Uh, now on this one, this is your clutch system, um, and and. I run, it's winter time, so we try to run it down so it drains all the water out. And we, we had a lot of problems with the lines freezing up uh, when it's really cold out and running antifreeze and stuff like that. And it, uh, I just, I got to a point where I stopped running water during the winter. Uh, and I'm not going to run water today either because I'm not cutting very much. But that's also something to keep in mind. Uh, your hoses will freeze up. So I'll go ahead and get her started. Now you can hear the the engine revving like that. Uh, we think the carburetor just needs to be adjusted. Uh, we haven't had a chance to do it, so uh, this just recently started over the winter. It's not really a big deal once you get going on the saw. So I'll go ahead and get her going. Once I make the cut, uh, once I make the cut, I usually try to run back through if it, if it's a close cut to see if I got my consistent aid all the way across. And this will give you an idea. Yeah, obviously there it's a little tight in here. I got some bark on my on my four by fours, but that'll be all right. Next cut's gonna be this one right here, so I'll go ahead and spin the log. Um, I just noticed a mistake that I should have caught before I went ahead and did, did the cut. You can see how crappy that cut is. It's because, see that branch right there? 
it's right on the middle of a rail, so I need to remove. I mean, need to move the log. Uh, I was too busy paying attention to doing the video instead of paying attention to the cut. So I got to reclamp this log so that that branch isn't right there, and the cut will be a lot, a lot different. And when you do this clamp, um, you want to make sure that your dogs, this side dog, is flush up against the log because that's how you know you're square. Uh, if there's any light coming through that side of the, the metal, then you're not square and your your cut's not going to be good, any good. So I always check for square before I do a final clamp. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like, I guess. And it's, this is pretty accurate. I haven't had any problems with it uh, as far as being square, but you can see, see how that's a flush butt up against the log. That's how you know you're square. So the next cut will be a 90 degree cut and you won't have to worry about being all wonky on your, your weird wood faces. So I'll go ahead and set up for the next cut here. Um, the blade is a little dull, so that's why I'm going so slow. It cuts a lot faster on a good blade. 